Welcome to Raven Silver. Please subscribe to my channel, also hit the notification bell, like this video, and share. Welcome to the third edition of Conversation of Long Nails. Now, sometimes we want to be beautiful and stuff, we want to be glamorous, we want to add a little extra to it. We get some fake acrylic nails, and you know, and there's some of us that just let our own nails grow, look really nice and stuff. But let's talk about the conversation as far as really long nails. Now, long nails can be glamorous, real beautiful, and stuff, and I love long nails myself. And I think they're very beautiful and I watch other girls do it, but it's always been a conversation of how do you clean yourself when doing number two? Now, I understand that they'll say, well, you know, girl, just wash your hands. But what about underneath those nails? Like what's underneath those nails? Not saying that anyone's dirty, but even the stilettos and stuff, they could cut you up when using toilet paper. What are you doing when it comes time for using the bathroom with those long nails? How do you do it? Comment below. Let's have that conversation. I created Let's this channel go. for people with different Trenton support to support you. There's a PayPal on top. People murder. One thing. There are a lot of times people can't send in the truth, but you find one that does support them. Make Allies. sure they do not fall within a, a smart community as not being in existence. And you know Music. that there are hard to find people that create a channel that caters to people who are different and send in the truth. Fishing and the man. allies sit back and say, well, I have no problem with other people. PayPal. Let me just stand in here to learn to support learn. those no judgment who support you. I love you. Stay in your truth. Good morning and welcome to the third day of confessions conversation. The conversation today is about fake nails. Now, I've been known to do my own nails and I'm cheap. Well, I guess I can't afford it right now. So, what I do is I do my own nails. Hmm. Now, I notice the nails look really beautiful on your hands and stuff. By my nails. But, due to the fact I don't pay for them to get professionally done, they pop off. So, very slow. And here we have the nail cemetery. The nail cemetery, which means that they pop off. Now I know some music, but we're even getting professionally done. The reason why I have not invested into getting it professionally done, because this is the problem I have, and I want to have the conversation with you. And I want to know, have you ever thought about this? When you have long nails, and it comes down to the point of Cleaning your private parts. Not here, but. And you have to go to number two. And you have to take your hand. And you have to go back. A little graphic. I know it's early in the morning, but let's have the conversation. And you have to take those long nails. And you have to get some toilet paper. After doing number two. And you have to reach your butt back. Your hand back. And you have to go in and clean. The nails stop you from going all the way in. Now, some of you would say, well, Raven, there are ways around it. There's ways around wiping your butt. Let's have that conversation. Also, I want to share with you, in case you don't know, as of March the 2020, um, on a Thursday, 26. Nurses say long nails are the fastest spreaders of the coronavirus and advises you to cut them. Now it's also stating that, give me a second here, it's stating that we are washing, we are washing our hands during the coronavirus 19 pandemic, but what about our nails? A nose has warned that long nails can be one of the fastest spreaders of coronavirus and as of germs, bacteria, even viruses underneath, the Australian health workers wrote the practice best way to keep their nails short. To test your nails are short enough, she said that they could not pass the tip of your finger against your skin but if you can feel your nails but not the flesh of your finger your nails are too long and must be cut immediately having long nails is particularly dangerous if you are particularly by your nails which is introduced the virus into system many of us have been using hand sanitizers at this time but the nurses warn that 
This alone won't do the trick as far as long nails. If you have natural nails um, or fake nails at the moment, the best thing would be to cut them or take them off. It is unlikely to use a nails brush, even times such as times to even wash your hands. And it states that she added that if you can rub your, if you can't rub the very ends of your fingernails against each other and fill the palm, then your nails are just too long. Please, during this um, global emergency, keep your nails short. Just in case you didn't know, you know now. Now, me, myself, I think nails are beautiful. I want to have nails. But in order for me to invest that type of money into nails, I need to have some type of clarity that I'm able to wipe my butt. Because being hygiene is very important. Coffee time. Y'all got your coffee? My coffee's ready. Give me a second. Have you ever thought about this? Comment below. Let me know how you feel about this. About the oh, long nails. Nice. And did you ever think about the fact that underneath the nails, the coronavirus right. could be up anything that you don't even know of because you touch your nails? Let's talk about that. Comment below. So this is my thing. How do you get to the point where I want long nails because I think they're beautiful and I do. But how do you get to the point where Nails versus cleaning your butt. Now, a lot of times people say, well, Raven, you know, you can wipe your butt. But see, the one thing about me, I do believe in that blue light. Okay. That blue light means if they put the blue light underneath your nails, what do you see? Like dark stuff. They cool underneath those nails. People take the nails, touch your face. They, hey girl, oh my god, your hair is so pretty now. Freak a lot. All in your nails, you're touching people's face, you're touching your face, you're handing people stuff, and your nails got fecious inside of it. Now, not kind of like deep fecious where it's like, oh god, it's sticking all out, but even though you wash your hands, it's still not exactly 100% clean. My personal opinion. i never seen someone go to the bathroom, get some alcohol, start cleaning their nails. They wash their hands and they get out. That's what I see. Is that what you see? Have you ever saw somebody get something and start digging between them nails after going to the bathroom? I know somebody said, well, I really could care less. I don't watch. But I always watch that part. Being a, a nails wearer, I always wondered... How do you clean your nails after you done did number two and you're just going about your work and your business? So that's the conversation today. It is now almost 8 o'clock in the morning. And I wanted to have the conversation with you. Nails versus no nails. Now, if you got long nails, so some girls got good, you know, they got good calcium and stuff in their skin and stuff. Their nails just go really nice. They really don't need them. I'm not saying that you have to have nails. I'm not saying it's a, you have to do it. I'm saying for my personal opinion, how do you clean your butt when wearing nails? Now, I got on some nails now. But I cut them down really low. But I'm not talking about the ones I got on. Because I could, I could braid, I could do everything with this. Because it's close to nothing. I'm talking about them long ones. Like I did with the um, little kid I showed you. You got to go down and clean. And then you scratching up stuff. Because you got to get all the way in there. You know what I mean? You got to get all the way in there and clean and clean. But are you really clean? Anyway, it's a conversation. I'm going to know your thoughts. Tell me what y'all think. I want y'all to have a blessed and safe day. And that includes another section of conversation. Like, subscribe, and please comment. Because your answers are really important. I like to watch to see how people move. We all can share ideas. And I think it's important that hey, some people may want nails and don't know. 
but after watching this video and your answer, it's a teachable moment. I'm willing to learn. Teach me. Have a blessed and safe day. And I love you.